Hi folks, John Mark here with Catalyst Group. We're a premium Zoho partner and software development firm based in Tucson, Arizona. Uh, we've been in the technology consulting space since 2012 and have implemented well over 100 customized Zoho CRM solutions for clients all over the world. Over the last few years, we've noticed a common theme in communication. Increasingly, business is shifting towards a diversified uh, channels. With the advent of social media, Slack, mobile messaging, Email is not often the best means of communicating with clients, especially when you need an immediate response. I would bet that at least half of us in this webinar have more than 50 unread emails in our inbox right now. I would also be bold enough to say that I bet none of us have an unread text message. I think this is a powerful point. In an age of mobility, communication channels have become more complex. Questions like when to send an email versus text versus using WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger become quite difficult to navigate. Uh, to be honest, the, the answer is probably different by uh, demographic, country, and industry. Uh, we do know that it is certain channels warrant an immediate response while others do not. I would like to explore with you the use of text messaging in a business use case. Oftentimes, there is a need to have a quick back and forth with a client. Maybe it's scheduling a meeting or getting a quick clarification. Email is often not ideal as it may take a minute or two between messages. A use case like this is perfect for text messaging or sending a reminder of an appointment or acknowledging an order. When it comes to messaging, clients uh, may uh, have a few different conversations going on with your firm, uh, with a few of your colleagues. This presents a unique problem because oftentimes you don't want to see all of the communication from every employee in a single thread. You'd like to be able to reference your unique conversations with that client while also being able to look at the bigger picture and see all communication going on with uh, that particular client as well. We've developed a text messaging and voice solution that is quite versatile and very accessible. Our solution is comprised of a Zoho CRM extension, Google Chrome extension, web application, and mobile app. I'd like to dive into uh, the use case here, so you can see how it works in practice. So, all of us are familiar with uh, the CRM. Um, our solution adds a new module called um, Catalyst Connect. Uh, we'll notice here that we have a lead module, and I've gone ahead and added in a new webinar lead. Whenever a new lead is added to uh, the CRM, we have a webhook as part of the extension that will automatically sync that lead to our web app, which uses Twilio to send all of the text messages. Um, whenever a lead or contact record uh, is updated, that updated phone number or name will sync with the web app and be accessible to you through the Chrome extension, web app, and mobile app. So here we can see that this particular lead has a couple of text messages. So in the CRM, we can reference all messages that have taken place by anyone uh, at our company with this particular client. Uh, we can use the related list to sort the messages by date and time or subject, et cetera. And we can see the full communication of that back and forth. Now, viewing text messages in a related list is nothing new. There are a few solutions out there but it's not necessarily ideal, especially when you have multiple people conversing with that particular lead. So what we've done is integrated the CRM with our Chrome extension. And you'll see here that I have a little uh, Chrome app with a notification saying that I have one unread text message. If I click on that, you'll notice that it's going to default to the lead record that I'm on in the CRM by reading the URL. We can then also see a contextual conversation here of exactly what that client back and forth is. So I can send a message. And that message is now going to get synced with the CRM. If I refresh the page here, we'll notice that we now have three text messages in the related list. Now, if a colleague were to message the same lead, their message would show up in this related list here for archival purposes, and we generally recommend that you give only read access permissions to all employees for this module, so that way you have a full track record of all communication, which is great for audit purposes. But at the same time, if uh, either one of us were to log in to the Chrome extension, we're only gonna see our unique conversation with that particular client. 
you'll notice that we also have the ability to um, pull from templates. So if you have common messages that go out in certain use cases, you can quickly grab that template. It will populate that text in the uh, text box here, and you can quickly send a, uh, a template out. We also have the ability to choose different area codes. So if your account is configured with multiple phone numbers, you can choose which area code to message that client from. Um, now, oftentimes we'll need to send out a group text message. And the way that uh, we can achieve that through our solution is by tagging a lead or contact with this field over here with your different groups. So you can customize these dropdowns to add in any group designations that you'd like. And those group designations will sync with our web app and be available through the groups tab. So here you can look at your contact groups and your lead groups, select a group and send out a bulk message to all the folks that are tagged with that particular uh, group tag. Now, oftentimes you may need to fire off a quick text to someone that isn't yet a lead or contact in your CRM. And we have this tab here where you can enter a number ad hoc and fire off a text message. Now, another use case is uh, oftentimes what you'll need to do is uh, make a call to a lead uh, after uh, you engaged in a text messaging conversation. Now, there are a couple of different ways that uh, you can do that through our solution. One is by integrating the Twilio click to call uh, through the CRM. So, our solution works alongside the uh, uh, default uh, Twilio integration with Zoho CRM and you can just click to call out and uh, using the Zoho phone bridge you'll get the call pop uh, to call out to that person as demonstrated here. I'll just quickly let this go through and it looks like uh, I haven't uh, logged in on the, on the back end there but uh, we also have another unique feature that we can uh, used to call out on this lead. Um, you may need to quickly pull up that lead record. You can actually call through the Chrome extension as well. This is very helpful if you need to um, quickly uh, make a call out. You can just click the call button, put in a number here and dial out even if you don't have that person in your CRM. So we wanted to make the solution as versatile as possible. Um, now the calls are logged in the CRM as a completed activity record, so you'll have it there for uh, reporting purposes. So let's dive into a little bit more of a complex scenario. Um, we have a web app version that's a little bit more robust than our uh, Chrome extension. This um, uh, web app is designed to allow a marketing department to manage multiple channels of uh, text message communication. So a common marketing practice may be to have a unique phone number for each marketing campaign. Perhaps you have a phone number for a billboard, another for your Google AdWords, and you want to be able to track uh, your responses and uh, respond appropriately to everyone communicating through each of those phone numbers. This dashboard here uh, allows users to do just that. Uh, we can see that if multiple phone numbers are set up, you'll be able to filter your conversations by phone number. You can search for your contact records that uh, are in the CRM, and you can pin those conversations to this board. And this way you can actually manage multiple conversations all in one feed. And it gives you the ability to have some more advanced features like scheduling a message. So we can... Schedule this out, pick our date, and we'll send it this afternoon at three. That's going to now schedule that message to be sent out, and it will pop up here once it's been executed. So we have the ability to manage multiple conversations, schedule those out, and tag each conversation with the channel that it came through. And uh, I would like to show you the back end. Um, this is the settings page that you can configure all of your logins for your different users. Uh, when you log in, you'll be able to uh, configure a demo account. And uh, this is the key that you'd put into the uh, Chrome extension. You can also choose to 
uh, default your numbers to the US by checking this box. Oftentimes, if you're in the US, you won't put in the number one as a prefix for the country code. So you can default that uh, to the US. And you can also choose your default phone number and add in multiple phone numbers for this particular person. If you need to add new users, you can come in here and put in their CRM email ID, the email that they would like to receive uh, email notifications when a new text message is received, and checking this box will allow those messages to go through to your email inbox. So there are a couple of ways that you can get alerts. One will be through your email when a new text message is received. The other would be a little counter that will show up uh, on the top right here. Um, if a message is received as well. If you need to add new templates, you can go into the back end here and add a new template. And uh, if you are configuring the solution for the first time, you'll need to do a bulk sync of all of your contacts and leads by clicking this button over here and choosing each of those modules. And each time you add new dropdown values to your groups in the lead or contact module, you'll need to sync those values as well so that they show up here in the top right. And here you can see that we have a new message that's going to pop up uh, with that new uh, record as well. Um, when you're getting everything configured, um, this is the main settings page where you'll drop in your uh, Zoho uh, API key, your Twilio SID uh, tokens to make sure that we're connecting all of the systems together so that they synced uh, across all platforms. Uh, this area here is for our mobile app. We currently have an Android app that's in beta, and we are working on the iOS version that should come out in Q3 of 2018. Um, when it comes to the setup, we will help get uh, all of that configured for you. Make sure that all of your users have been added with the uh, correct phone numbers, area codes, and options, and uh, uh, provide a training so that uh, your users can uh, get started. Now, um, this is uh, great for all of your baseline uh, communication back and forth with clients. We've gone over uh, text messaging individually, groups, scheduled messages, uh, using templates. But uh, we also have the ability to leverage this platform for more automated uh, messaging as well. So you can see here that we've created a workflow rule in the CRM based on the events module that we'd like to send out a uh, text message reminder one hour before an appointment. So we created a workflow rule that was based off of a date and time field. We're executing this workflow one hour before the appointment time. And we're doing this for all records, or you can have a separate workflow for different appointment types. We then call on a custom function that we've configured in combination with our solution so that we can send out a message to our uh, 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 event attendee with a reminder that they have a message, uh, uh, an appointment coming up with us. So it's very easy to configure uh, automated email responses using workflow rules uh, with our solution as well uh, in a format that's native to uh, Zoho. So uh, we look forward to exploring uh, your particular use case more in depth. Uh, please feel free to email support at Catalyst Connect. If you have any questions, uh, you will need to connect with us to help uh, get the solution configured uh, for you, as everyone's use case tends to be a little bit uh, unique. We're more than happy to discuss customized solutions that work with different modules or different business use cases that you may have, as uh, we've done numerous uh, unique configurations in the past as well. Thanks a lot, and uh, back to Sadarshan.